Hi, Missy here. Welcome back to Code to Create. In last video, I showed you how to use Midjourney to generate images. And in this video, we will use Midjourney to generate some stylized profile pictures. Let's get it started. In order to have a good AI generated profile picture, we first need to have a good profile picture. I will recommend you taking your picture in front of a white wall with good lighting. Here, I'm just standing in front of a white wall and try to find a good angle that I like and taking a picture of myself, just like how you usually do when you're taking a selfie. After taking a couple of pictures, I picked this photo to be my sample photo for the AI. I am on the Discord in the Midjourney channel and I have selected the channel and then just gonna start showing you what I do with my profile pictures. Just let you know the channel is kind of a public. You need to know that once you post your picture here in the channel, everyone else will be able to see it and Midjourney will have a copy of your own picture. But for me, since I'm even on YouTube, I have no problem for them having my own personal picture. Or you can actually upgrade to a, a version that allows you to do private post. So here is my settings. You can just type for settings. Just to see that's what I'm doing. I picked Midjourney version 5. They have other kind of mode and also I choose based quality, style, like medium, and the public mode. See that I cannot choose the other mode. I will just type forward slash image, you will show a prompt. Here I'm gonna paste the URL to my profile picture. This image will be public. Everyone in the channel will see it. You can also upload your picture to Discord channel and get the URL that way. For me, I already uploaded my profile picture to my server. So here is the URL. And I want to do a Disney style profile picture. Just type Disney Pixar. And here's a key. You actually need to describe yourself as a good looking person. I know it seems really unnecessary, but a lot of times AI will try to create an image that's more stereotypical towards your culture, more general about what a person should look like. But ideally for our own profile picture, we need to make ourselves look a bit better. And a lot of times AI cannot really identify the gender. So you need to define your gender as well. So here I will just say cute girl and type animate, fine, luster, blender. I want like soft lighting and a gradient background. words at the beginning will be set as more like a priority. The latter, the descriptions are the less importance it gets and a lot of times they even get ignored. Another value I want to add is dash dash IW, which is the likeness of the image to the original source picture. Here I will put it to because I really want the profile picture looks like me. And I will press enter. So here it is. Actually, there are a lot of people suggesting you just press this pre-roll button to get a couple more variation of the pictures. I think version 2 is not bad. So here it is. They basically changed where I will be looking at. Hmm, I think I like version 2 a bit more. I'm not sure. Let me go back. 
I actually like the original version too because it shows my smile and teeth. I will just pick this one then. So here I have it and open your browser. It's pretty good. I actually like it. I will save this picture. Let's go back. Let's try next one. We can basically just use the original prompt and just change the description of the, the style. So here, let's go. I will just type forward slash image and paste my last prompt. So now I want to do a Japanese uh, anime style. So the first one will change Japanese comics and I will do game original painting cute girl I, I can delete this one and I will change the W value to one because it's kind of anime so I don't want it look just too much like me Maybe change my outfit. I will say in a dress. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, it actually looks a bit better than what I expected. Actually, I like the version one. The hair is quite nice, to be honest. It made my hair look better than what they really are. I have noticed, like, they don't want me to show my teeth when I'm smiling, <laughs> which is very interesting. Okay, so here they are. I will pick. I will pick the version two. Here we go. So, here is my final profile picture. Let's open that in the browser. It's pretty interesting. I don't understand why they don't want me smile show my teeth. Maybe that's something I need to add that into my description. But we can save this image. I really like this low resolution pixel art. Maybe we can try that next. We'll go forward with our next picture. I want to do pixel art. Do image and then paste what I had. Instead of Japanese comics, I will do low res pixel art. I was in a green sun dress remove the game original painting and we'll leave the rest there I will do colorful background IW1 I would say let's see how it goes so I will pick U1 so yeah it's actually pretty good look I actually like this. Let's copy this message. Now I want to do something a bit more complicated. I know to write paragraphs and paragraphs of descriptions is really kind of difficult. So there are other ways we can do it. It's by using a reference image. So this profile picture, I want it to be futuristic, kind of make me look like a robot-ish. First, I will just use the same prompt image and paste my previous prompt. And I will remove the IW value, of course. Pixel R1, dress, cute girl, no. I will do Final Blunder, soft lighting. I only want to care about soft lighting. Colorful background, maybe not. We need to describe like some key elements. So here I would say Cyber, cute girl. Base suit blender and machine 
and also, of course, I need to have a reference picture. So let's go to Google. Now let's look in for a cyborg. Let's see the pictures. Which one do I like more? Again, now AI drawing is still in a kind of gray areas. Do you really own the copyright? Do you have to give credit to the original art creator? Like here, it looks really good. It's from Adobe stock images. Let's copy image address. I hope they actually do give me a URL for it. I will just paste it here behind my own personal photo. Yes, it did give me a JPEG URL. Let's press enter. I do not want the photo look like the exact photo I have. That's why I removed the IW value. It's actually pretty good. Let's see. Actually, I like it. It looks pretty good. I actually personally really like the version 2. Let's just uh, scale it up. Let me know what's your thought. Do you find it's very difficult to use or you think this tutorial actually helps you a bit? Let's open it in the browser. It's actually quite nice. It's better than what I expected. Lots more details. I hope everything worked for you as well and you're happy with the result. Please let me know if there's anything you want me to talk about that's AI related in upcoming videos. Either that has something to do with how we are going to use the ChatGPT or other AI image generating tools. See you in next video. Bye for now.